Hey guys, welcome back to Lazy Modding here on YouTube. I am going to do kind of a quick overview of the latest update to the i3D color node add-on for Blender, which is now being changed into the FS25 modding extension. Uh, it just better reflects what the what it actually does. So um, that's kind of what we'll do. Um, here on the screen, I have uh, the GitHub pulled up. So um, Whenever I release 1.0.1.0, um, it'll be down here in the releases. Right now, it's just version one, even, um, and all the wheat or all this information, everything would also change too. So, um, yeah, so you'll get that. I'll have this link to linked in the description below, so you guys can have access to it easy. Um, but once you download it, you'll just download the zip file. Um, so if I go click on this. I just want to download the zip file, whatever it is down here. Um, this will be changed to a different name, uh, which will be closer to what this is. So it's FS25 modding extension version 1.0.1.0.zip. So that is what we have there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Blender 4.3 that I'm using. And we're just going to create a general asset here. And we don't really need to do anything too crazy, but if I hit in on the keyboard and I go here to Giants i3D exporter. Uh, if you look in the game location, there's nothing in here. And there's also nothing in this one either. So those are both empty at the moment. So I'm just going to hide that. So if we go to edit and preferences, um, older Blender versions, this might be a little bit different, but I'm just going to go to the drop down here. Install from disk. I am going to go to desktop and FS25 modding extension 1.0.1.0. Click on that. Install from disk. Boom, it installs it from disk. If you open it up and you go to the preferences down here, it'll have FS25 game directory. If you click on the little folder icon and then map it to where your game folder is, so basically the root of your game. And then hit accept um, and I'm just gonna hit save just for giggles there and hit close so I don't know if it'll update automatically or not but whenever we go to create a new one we'll new general don't need to save that we'll hit in come over here hit game location and now it auto pops up and I did not do anything with the exporter it just assigns a variable to the file path that you put in there and boom, it works. So now you don't have to constantly load um, those file paths in every time you start a new Blender save. So um, that's really the only big change to version 1.0.1.0. Um, the color node still works the same. Uh, not really been a whole lot of changes on that side. Uh, but some of the documentation has been updated, of course, and such like that. So anyway, so that is just kind of a quick view of that update to it. If you guys have any issues or anything, um, please do reach out. I will drop my Discord link in the description, which is also where I'm providing all my support for this extension. Um, so either create an issue on GitHub or uh, use the Discord link below. And I will gladly be able to try to do my best to help you out with whatever issue you're having. So anyway, that's going to be a wrap on this one, guys. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel and supporting this extension. And have a happy Thanksgiving.